The United States has seized a plane belonging to Venezuelan President Nicolas Maduro in the Dominican Republic, the Justice Department revealed on Monday. According to the Justice Department, the plane was illegally exported in April 2023 from the United States to Venezuela through the Caribbean from a company in Florida. This sends a message all the way up to the top, one of the U.S. officials told CNN, adding that, seizing the foreign head of state's plane is unheard of for criminal matters. We're sending a clear message here that no one is above the law, no one is above the reach of U.S. sanctions. The plane has been described by officials as Venezuela's equivalent to Air Force One and it has been pictured in previous state visits by Maduro around the world. The plane had been in the Dominican Republic in recent months, although it's unknown why. The U.S. has placed numerous sanctions on Venezuelan companies and individuals, including Maduro, for alleged corruption and human rights abuses among other things. The Netherlands will supply Ukraine with 28 Viking tracked vehicles as part of the country's ongoing support against Russian aggression. Dutch Defense Minister Ruben Breckelmans made the relevant announcement on Saturday. Ukraine desperately needs our help in the fight against the Russian aggressor. Our support to Ukraine continues in order to keep Russia at bay, Breckelmans said on X social media platform. Earlier, on Thursday, Breckelmans told Dutch public broadcaster that if a missile is launched from Russia, you can intercept it with an F-16 over Russia. The Dutch official stressed that the laws of war allow Ukraine to target military sites in Russia if attacked. The supply of these versatile vehicles is expected to dramatically boost Ukrainian troops' capabilities with regards to combat operation in amphibious and difficult terrains. Vikings provide Ukrainian troops with improved mobility and protection. They will allow for more effective maneuvers in diverse landscapes, including waterlogged areas. A helicopter carrying 22 people, most of them tourists, has crashed in Russia's Far East Kamchatka region. 17 bodies have been found so far, officials said, adding that the helicopter disappeared from the radar on Saturday. The wreckage was found on Sunday morning in a hilly area, Kamchatka Governor Vladimir Solodov said on Telegram. It had 19 tourists and three crew members on board. Footage posted to the messaging app by Russia's emergencies ministry showed helicopter debris lying near a slope close to a large wooded hill. 
The ministry said the helicopter crashed against the slope of a hill. Officials said the wreckage was found near the location where the helicopter went off radar. Although the cause of the crash is unclear, Russian media speculated that pilot error, possibly caused by fog, was the main theory regarding the cause of the crash. Officials earlier said that thick fog was hampering rescuers' efforts to find the missing helicopter. The aircraft was owned by Vitya Zero, a Kamchatka-based company that organizes flights for tourists. It should be noted that three years ago eight people were killed when a tourist helicopter crashed into a lake in Kamchatka.